This video is about MPPTs, the box that we connect. It's the interface between the solar panels and the battery. I found out recently you can connect as many MPPTs into one battery bank as you want. You could have 10 MPPTs. If you're adding solar panels like I did with my fold-ups and you realize you don't have enough amps available, buy another MPPT. Hey, my name is Dave. I've been living here in Malibu on the beach since uh, last summer. Van Life Beach, AKA Westward Road, AKA Home. I started this YouTube channel to make a van for 30K. It's a studio apartment in the van. I'm living in it rent free in Malibu currently because why would you want to travel with these gas prices? I needed to get some shots for this video and I want to get it out tomorrow, Friday. It's not ready to take a shower yet, I'm sorry. Normally I shower in a bag, giant clear bag, dump the water out the side of the van. I solution I hang it since there's not enough room on the roof I have fold-up panels as well I don't plug in anymore I used to plug in once in a while with these fold-up panels I don't plug in trying to do most important thing first <sighs> and most important thing is whatever I think it is biggest priority right now isn't the plumbing a TV Renogy sent me they let me keep BT1 they sent me my BT2 you, <laughs> you can have it oh, no, we gotta, we just Knock the whole tree down in the backyard trying to get rid of it little by little. The green light is on. It's inserted. That's what she said. Name my Bluetooth. You can connect to all of it. I had to do DC to DC. When I hit controller, it doesn't actually work. Wow, look at all this info. Total watts of charging. There's like no sun. You can only plug this module into one device. Each device, you're gonna have to buy one of these Bluetooth modules. Controller, an inverter, a battery, and a DC to DC. That's four modules that you're gonna have to buy. Alternator charging amps, which are now at zero. Let's see what happened. Oh, it just kicked on. The light just kicked on for the alternator. It took like 20 seconds. The alternator charging is higher than the combined charging amps. What is happening there? I'd appreciate it. If, if you got ideas of your own, please subscribe, comment. I think we can all develop this van life together and come up with ingenious solutions to the problems that we find. We can actually live more comfortable in a van, rent free, than we would if we had our normal traditional home. This will work with Victron. I personally have Renogy Bluetooth modules plug into each of your devices from Renogy. Something annoying about this? It's not showing anything. That happens all the time. To get this to go away, close that app reopen the app one of them loaded come on come on that's my rover and that's my dc to dc I have a third rover now it's gray i haven't connected a bluetooth module yet why would you want this the dc to dc doesn't tell you as much as the rover you can see how much power you're generating my favorite total kilowatts generated i'm getting very close to a megawatt take the kilowatt hours add them up and find out how much that would have cost you if you were paying for the energy. Battery temperature, MPPT, you can look at the voltages. I need to make a whole new video on voltages because it gets so confusing. A fully charged battery that's not connected to anything, say 13.3 volts, a lithium battery. But as soon as you connect a load, the voltage is gonna go down, even though it's still charged. Vice versa, connect a charge load, voltage is gonna go up. You may think, oh, my battery is charged, but it's not yet. When you have a charge load connected, your battery is not charged until it reaches over 14.4 volts. I'm digressing, because understanding voltages is really gonna help you understand if your system's working properly. Oh my goodness, I really don't wanna ramble here. Go to the home screen. This is my favorite screen, because it tells you how many watts each charger is producing. Up here at the top, it tells you all the MPPTs added together so you can get your total wattage. And the most I've ever seen this do, 900 watts. A typical sunny day, you'll get a little over half rated wattage for all your panels. The Rover gives you all kinds of data. I, I don't even want to get into it. I prefer Rover over the DC to DC. You can plug higher wattage panels into it. There's a 25 volt limit on the DC to DC. It doesn't have a screen on it. The DC to DC portion of it rarely produces 25 amps. Sometimes it won't even do one amp. I can't seem to get Renogy to do anything about it. What they tell you is to reset the system every time. So that's what people do. They put a switch, the panels and on the battery and totally disconnect the unit every time it stops producing power and then reconnect it. The solar part of the system works great on the DC to DC MPPT. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like all of a sudden, the data just isn't there. <laughs> It's so frustrating. I would recommend Bluetooth modules, occasionally looking at what's going on. I have a smaller screen and a bigger screen. Small screen TV that I have here and monitor doesn't 
take nearly as much power as the big one. What I can do is cook differently or less, change the way I'm using electricity if there's gonna be overcast days ahead. I'm at a very capable place now because I haven't plugged in to shore power in months. Let's see if I can get through the summer that way. I have to work with this and I'm just like, oh shoot, I forgot to turn on the camera. These are the Havelock wool bats. I bought two bags just for the walls. I'm folding it over. Spray glue right here. Gotta get that top edge real good so it holds it up. Just a light mist. Okay. Oh no, am I dripping? Oh no, I'm not dripping. Maybe I should have cut this. I get it in there in that space. The fibers get everywhere. My less than $10 curtain rod broke. What do you think of the new carpet? My dad, that's what he does. He hangs draperies. The best drapery installer in the world, maybe. He pulled this out for me. This thing is solid. My dad's always got the solutions. I'm gonna put this end outside the bracket. That was big enough. I don't know. I haven't even tested it. Oh no, it might be too big. I got a feeling. It's easy to cut down. Now that everything's all like really nice, I hit things against things and I'm just like, oh my god, I just scratched that and I oh, I'll put a hole there. And... Ooh. How much do you want to cut off? Okay, move the tape hanger. Hold it. Holding it. There you go. Thanks. I keep bumping into stuff. I'm like, oh! <laughs> no. I don't really need these wires in here. Sometimes I leave uh, stuff that I'm working on in here longer than maybe I should. Part of it is because I have to walk so far to get into the garage. Oh, dark. Uh, here's my spot for my wire. 